Hi, today I am going to show how to create a page in AGM. This particular video targeting to the authoring team and the developer team. Usually authoring team might not have the knowledge of the developing part, but they need to know how to create a page and how to author a page. And from development point, uh, any person, any developer who do not have a knowledge how to create a uh, page and how to author a page, he can also refer to this particular page. Feel free to use this video as a KT to your authoring team. Let's start. So this, this is my AM uh, local host. I am currently running the AM cloud SDK. And as part of this, I have created a project WK and sites project. I have deployed it into my local AM server. So this is my project name and this is my first page under the project. And this is the second uh, sub page under the uh, first page. Uh, this can be taken as a home page, by, but I wanted to create a new base under the ENI. So when you when I will select here, I'll click create, create uh, click the create button, click the page. Here all your template will be listed. So right now only one template that is there, that is content page. I'll select this. I'll click next. Then I have to provide a name at the title level. Remember, this is the mandatory information that we have to provide and all other informations are optional. For now, I will just provide the title that will be home page. Oh. Okay. And I will create open. This will open my page in a authoring mode. Okay, this is the by default view. Uh, let's add a few component. There is already uh, two. Uh, so here, if you see, uh, whatever the component are already there to see that you have to select this particular icon that is the content tree the first component is the title component already it is there by default uh, with the content template it always appears and this is our content section where we will be adding all our component and as part of the content section we are getting a uh, drag component here at uh, behavior where we can click on this plus icon when we click on this plus icon we will be list shown all the component that is available for this particular page so let's add a accordion component here so here then we have to just click setting so whenever you wanted to edit you can always click here click the setting to open this dialog box to modify that particular component so here instead of item one this will be my uh, first accordion let's assume uh, faq1 i will create something later this will be my faq2 i'm adding the faq1 is the first one which is telling expanded item by default that item will be expanded if i click here so what happens this, there is a accordion component and inside that there is two container where two container why because of the component behavior so there is uh, the first uh, accordion will have the first container second accordion will have the second container if i open this right there is nothing i can add any content like i can add a text component and uh, inside text component i can add text one as of now and for accordion so if i open this right here this is the text one and for here we can add one more accordion uh, but remember currently the accordion is in a hidden mode that's where it is not visible so for that you can go to the preview mode edit if you, you i went to the preview mode click on the second accordion where it got opened and under the i can add one more text okay and this text will have like uh, text to then FAQ image. So in inside the FAQ image, which is our third accordion, by default it is already uh, it's not a container. It's directly an image. So I can author this image directly. I don't have any image in my local. So I will just put whatever I have already. So this is the image behavior. Click done. Okay, it is telling to give some alternate text. IMG. And in the metadata, you can put some information if you want. You can author. 
I'll leave as it is. Then I'll go to the publish mode. How does it show? Let's see. So this is the this is my accordion. If you see, if I click right, automatically it hides. But when you when I load this page, right, by default the FAQ one accordion number one accordion is automatically enabled or open. Okay, if I click, it is closing. By default, it is open because in the CQ dialog box we have authored in that way. Similarly for these three. So this is the basic part of the editing a page. Uh, there is one more information I wanted to provide. Uh, with this, you can go ahead. So during the first time creation, we just provided the title information. However, there are multiple information can be provided to the page. For that, you have to click on this icon. If you go to the open properties, here you can add, add more details. Uh, for example, on time, off time are used for publishing. On time means this particular page will be published for a uh, on a certain period of uh, so on a timestamp. So for example, uh, right now it is uh, 9:49, but I wanted to at 10 p.m. I wanted to uh, publish this particular page. Then I can schedule that particular time. And whenever I wanted to remove this page, I can give a off time. Now, similarly, we can provide vanity URL and some of the SEO related information also can be provided. And those SEO information are available under the advanced tab. If I go little below, then we have a SEO section where we can provide some SEO information. Uh, I'll just for sample, I'm putting my sample URL. Before saving, I wanted to show where this canonical will appear. By default, there is a canonical URL will appear. I am clicking view page source where I can see the view page source. By default, there is a canonical URL, whichever is the current page URL. And the time I will save it. I will save it and I will reload it. Okay, if you see, this has been changed. So, similarly, lot of other details can be edited. Uh, or changed here and once you change you can play around these attribute so there are a lot of uh, behavior already added by AEM and I strongly recommend to use or reuse them because they are already added by out of the box a by AEM team Adobe team and they, there is no regression testing also required for these kind of behavior and these are very generic uh, behavior and these are already used in several projects so you can uh, these are completely production ready and you can always rely on this feature to use at the production level so with this uh, i'm coming to the end of this video thank you